Today, Precarious plays Lost Kingdoms 2. You should talk about the multiplayer aspects that we don't have access to and whether or not. You oh, think we do. To. We do. We could play it. You and me? Yeah. Well, then let's talk about that shit. I know. No, I don't want to play the multiplayer. No. It'll take this great game that I'm having fun with and turn it into. I still feel some guilt over the time we played the first mode in um, Zone of the Enders. Yeah. Yeah. Well... Because it was basically just me beating up on you for a while. Well, that was just because you had had lots of practice. Well, yeah, but that's always the case. Yeah, it is. Okay. Because I... Okay, hold on. This is just me talking more about multiplayer in general. If anybody ever thinks that they're participating in a, in a fair fight online, or mm -hmm. just in a, in a multiplayer game full stop, they're probably lying to themselves. Mm. Such a thing just doesn't exist. People want that, they desire it, and they will try to suggest it's like, oh, well, I mean, if you look at our rankings, then <laughs> no, screw you. It doesn't exist. The disparity that that is what creates a victor, you know? Yeah. Have hmm. I mean just so in our case, I think that it's particularly pronounced. Mm hmm You know? I have a solid twenty years of experience just like manipulating games, media, input devices. Yeah. And understanding, like, the expectations of a... Ah, oh, what? It's a daisy with teeth. Ooh, the weird little guy. Uh, um, just understanding, like, the expectations of a, of a game space. Yeah. Just familiarity with the mechanics. Um... I, I just, I, I don't really like playing verse mode anything anymore. Yeah. I will um, beat up on an AI so, all day long, but... So the only multiplayer available he <clears throat> here is just a PvP situation? Right, just PvP Was uh, it battle arena. Okay, and this was never like an online thing, right? Right. Yeah. Oh, I'm so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even sure if they would have had the resources to connect it to. Like, I think that there was an online adapter that you could use for um, Fantasy Star Online on the GameCube. Mm hmm. Um, but they probably didn't implement that because it would have been yeah. expensive to develop. I well, think. and you know, honestly, I don't like versus games very much either because with one notable exception, but I don't like them because I never feel good playing versus games because if I win, someone loses. Yeah. <laughs> and if I lose, I'm, I'm a butt. And I didn't do well, so like my victory is contingent on someone else's defeat, and I don't like yeah, it. I never like it. That's also how I've I've started to feel that way um, as I've gotten older as well. It's yeah. been that way for a bit. I shouldn't talk about it like it's something new. Yeah, but it's something that you've like fully embraced, and you've just been like, no, I'm not engaging with these PvP mechanics. We're done. We're not even gonna, not even looking. And. I, I should say that the notable exception is um, Smash Bros. Yeah. But I like Smash Bros. because it, at its base level, it's really lighthearted. Mm -hmm. um, you can get a little bit extreme with Smash Bros. But the thing is that whenever you have unmatched opponents, you can just introduce enough chaos through you know, the different settings and arenas and stuff like that, that it just becomes fun again. But and you can not, also fight That's not bots. really true. Well, that part is true, yeah. But, so my 
again, using you and me as a as a, a case study. Yeah. The disparity between our skill levels, it's not I'm not just talking about like the actual like fight minning yeah. that happens. Mm-hmm. If you were to drop us into say one of the more hectic arenas. Mm-hmm. With like we'll put items on, yeah, just to introduce as much chaos as possible. Yeah, I'm still going to have a better sense of how to avoid those hazards and exploit those items. Yeah, but for some reason, I never feel bad after playing Smash Bros with you, and maybe, and I don't, I don't even know. I, well, have I ever beaten you? I don't know if I've actually beaten you in Smash Bros. But I always, like, feel good about the progress that I can make because you can get rid of people's stock, too. So you can have, like, small battle-type victories. In in an academic <clears throat> situation like this, this is not information that I would usually reveal because it's, it's very plainly gloating. Mm -hmm. But since you asked and because it's relevant... I can count the number of times you've beaten me, not by, like, match victories, but by stock. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And that that just has everything to do with the fact that... Like, when we were in... God, we, when we were in middle school together... Yeah. I was playing Smash Bros, and then towards the tail end, like right around when high school started. Yeah. I was playing Melee with the boys, you know? Yeah. We were all kicking the crap out of one another in Smash Bros. I have over a, a, in that game, in that series specifically, I have a decade head start on you. If I wasn't winning, then it would be because it, that would reveal that I'm a total fuck up. It has nothing to do with you, you know? Mm -hmm. Because like there is, there's like a cap to how good you can expect to get at things. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know. So one thing that bothers me personally is whenever people talk about, um, like they they relate like a time investment. To, to mastery. To, to, to well, not a mastery. They relate a time investment to capacity in a immutable one-to-one -one way, like an uncritical way. It's like, oh, I've done this for eight hundred hours, so I obviously am really good at it. That's not necessarily true, but I have not been resting on my my laurels. Yeah. I like I'm confident that if I took um a couple of weeks to brush up mm -hmm. on my skills right now, yeah, I could wall up any past version of myself at Smash Bros right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. Did I actually run out of banshees for once? <laughs> May have. So that all of that said, Smash Bros. is still the only one that I have fun playing. And I, I don't know why that is specifically. It controls really fluidly. It is really satisfying, yes. You know what? That... I do like being able to see progress in the stock instead of just the matches. I like being able to fight AI. Mm -hmm. to to practice because whoa there's nothing more irritating than trying to get used to a character while facing you who's oh, like oh that's an odd number okay yeah sorry I, I just I I think that we're gonna have four floors of water and then four floors of either neutral or mechanical yeah so what is irritating about playing Smash Bros when I'm playing with you mm -hmm. is when I'm trying to get used to a character and what it does. That's irritating because I watch you like go easy on me, like in a very explicit way so that I can figure out what's going on. And that that's irritating. I'm never doing that anymore ever again because 
there are bots, so like, why bother? But it's really, um, it's really fun using the bots to get used to the character because the controls are so, f like, fluid and good. Mm -hmm. Like, it makes me think, like, why doesn't everything control like this? <laughs> and it doesn't matter which character I'm playing. There are only maybe, like, two characters that I can think of right off the bat that I just don't like how they work. Mm -hmm. And... But I still have so much fun with that game. And, you know, it's worth mentioning that... Um... While I... At one point was um i led the pack locally yeah you know yeah like nobody around our high school except for there were two people that could rival me but that's out of dozens of people that would be playing yeah. usually and those well one of those people was just really good at spamming a couple of things i i don't think we're thinking about the same person. Maybe not. Um, the point is that none of us, nobody there would be able to compete with the really obsessive, practiced professional players. Mm. You know? Yeah. Um, like, the, the disparity between you and me Mm hmm There are people out there that would have the same disparity between myself and them, you know? Yeah, I guess. I have yet to see it, though. <laughs> well, yeah, but I don't, I don't want to... I don't mean to... I don't mean to swell your head too much, but I, don't, <laughs> I haven't seen it. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to... I would never subject myself to that. I would concede defeat just on the basis that it's like... No, listen, look, I understand that you've practiced a lot and you want to be able to express that mastery and and win this game, but you're going to have to look somewhere else because I just you you pl you practice this game regularly. You exploit minutia that I kind of wish wasn't in the game at all because I think it makes it less fun. Like, I'm thinking about Melee specifically. Yeah. yeah. Melee had a lot of exploitative uh, elements that actually made it more popular in the fighting game community because it made it more technically demanding. Yeah. Like, uh, things that you could do where you could dodge or dash in such a way that you could scoot across the ground um, very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, people got angry. Those kinds of people got angry when in Brawl they introduced a chance whenever you were rapidly switching directions. Your character might slip and fall. <laughs> yeah, that was my reaction as well. <laughs> and we would both be fucking crucified for delighting in that right now. I look at that and I'm like, yeah, good. Fuck them. <laughs> because it's ugly. It's an ugly, stupid looking way of playing the game. It takes this this experience that was crafted to to be played a, a particular way, and it's just I would I would consider it an exploit, but whenever people latch on to a mechanic and they integrate it into high level play, they become very protective. Of it. Yeah. I just um, like playing to play, man. It's so it's such a satisfying control system. Yeah, you know what? You should um you should get ultimate for the switch. Because there's a <laughs> it's not as bespoke as um the story mode from Brawl. Mm-hmm. But it uh it's just a lot of you against the world, against tons of different AI-controlled opponents. Yeah. We can never talk about Smash Bros. again, because seriously, that's just like asking to be harassed by the weirdest, worst people online. <laughs>